Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Ngayon po, ang ating pag-aaralan ay tungkol sa shortcut technique on how to get the value of the different parts of a parabola given in general form or in standard form. Simulan na natin. Suppose the given general form of a parabola is x squared minus 6x minus 4y plus 5 equals 0. Without changing that to standard form, ay makukuha na natin ang length of LR, yung coefficient lang ng y ang kukunin natin. Absolute value. Bakit y? Kasi ang leading variable is x. So it's always the opposite variable of the leading variable, which is y, at yung coefficient non, which is 4. That's the length of LR. Next, how about for the focal length or the value of P? So nakuha mo ng length of LR, you divide it by 4 because the length of LR is 4 times P. So 4 divided 4 is 1. Why positive? Because positive is when you transpose negative 4y to the other side, it became positive. That is why the value of p is positive 1. And that sign of p which is positive, that will determine the opening of the graph. It should be opens upward. Why upward? Because the leading variable is x. Pag ang leading variable ay x, pag sinabing leading, the highest degree, which is 2, ay nasa variable x. Pag ang leading variable ay x, ang graph niyan ay either upward or downward. Next is for the vertex, it's k. So it determines the maximum or minimum. How to get the value as shortcut? Here, ang mag-apply na tayo na derivative. To get the derivative, since this is the leading variable is x, yung may mga x na variable ang kukunin natin. Get the derivative. Paano pagkuha ng derivative? We have here the solution. x squared minus 6x. Paano ito naging 2x sa derivative? When we get the derivative of x squared, ang ginagawa lang is multiply the coefficient to the exponent as new coefficient. 1 times 2 is 2. Copy the variable, and what happened to the exponent, subtract it by 1. Kaya naging 1. So next term, negative 6 times 1 is negative 6. Bakit na wala yung variable? Because the exponent of x is 1. When you subtract it by 1, the exponent of new x became 0, and x to the 0 is 1. So 1 times negative 6 is negative 6. And solve for x. Transpose negative 6 to the other side became positive. Divide both sides by 2 is 3. This is now the value of h for the vertex, which is 3. But how to get for the value of k? Ang gagawin lang natin is to substitute itong 3 sa original equation. Itong x squared minus 6x minus 4y plus 5 equals 0. So we have 3 squared minus 6 times 3, minus 4y plus 5 equals 0. Simplify, 3 squared is 9, negative 6 times 3 is negative 18, then plus 5. Itong negative 4y, immediately ilipat mo na sa kabila para mabilis. Negative, magiging positive 4y. And then simplify the left, 9 plus 5 is 14, minus 18, unlike sign is 4, and the sign of 4 is negative. At kopyahin yung sa right side na 4y. And solve for y, divide both side by 4. Negative 4 divide 4 is negative 1. Therefore, the value of y is negative 1. So as our vertex, so we have 3 and negative 1 as our vertex. Now to get for the focus, ano na nga yung shortcut? Okay? Kukopyahin nyo lang yung vertex. Whatever the leading variable Referring to the vertex, pariho yan sa focus value. So, leading variable is x. Vertex value ng x coordinate i3. That's also our focus. Then, the x value of the focus. How about for y? Ang gagawin nyo i to add the focal length and the y value of the vertex. Negative 1 plus 1 
unlike sine, we subtract 1 minus 1 is 0. That is why our focus has a coordinate of 3, 0. Next is, ang technique dapat, pag nakuha mong focus, ang sunod mo na is the end points of the latus rectum. Bakit end points of the latus rectum? Kasi dito, whatever the, whatever the value of the y coordinate of the focus, pariho din ang y value of the end points of the latus rectum. So we have 0, 0. How about for the x coordinate of the end points of the latus rectum? Referring to the vertex, kasi po x ang leading, vertex, plus or minus half of LR. Ang LR natin for, so 2. So 3 minus 2 is 1, 3 plus 2 is 5. So that's our coordinate of the end points of the latus rectum. How about for the axis of symmetry? Whatever the leading variable, yun po ang variable sa axis of symmetry. X equals, kokopyahin lang yung value ng vertex sa X coordinate. How about for the directrix? It's the opposite variable of the axis of symmetry. So X ito, magiging Y dito. So Y equals, paano naging negative 2? kukopyahin yung y value ng vertex plus the opposite of the focal length. Opposite of positive 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus negative 1, the same sign, add 2, copy the sign. Okay. How about for the standard form? Without using the completing the square, we can write the standard form. Ang my square 2, so therefore, ang nasa loob ng parenthesis ay variable x. So we have open parenthesis, x, then kopyahin itong 3 opposite ng vertex na 3. This is positive 3, magiging minus 3, close parenthesis square equals the length of LR4 times open parenthesis, variable y, kasi ang may square ay x, of course, ang nasa right ay y. Then, the value of the vertex y value, negative 1, opposite is positive 1. Close parenthesis. See, hindi na tayo gumamit ng completing the square. Hindi na tayo nag-complete, hindi na tayo nag kung ano pang sinolve. It's easy. Tingnan nyo, isa lang na slide ang nagamit to. Lahat may sagot na. Unlike in our previous lesson, maraming slides for one particular given equation. Another example para mas maganda. Halimbawa, the given is y squared minus 4x minus 12, y plus 28 equals 0. This is general form. For the length of LR, since the leading variable is y, ang kukuni natin yung variable x and the coefficient absolute value is 4. Therefore, that's the length of LR. For the length of P, so the focal length, okay, you just divide 4 by 4, which is 1. Why positive? Because if you transpose negative 4x to the other side, it became positive. So the value of P is positive 1. Nilagay ko na positive para alam nyo. Because the plus sign, that's indicate the opening of the graph. How about for the opening of the graph? Because the variable, leading variable is Y, meaning the graph is sideways. Since the focal length, the sign is positive, meaning... To the right po ang opening ng graph. How about for the vertex? Same. Kukunin natin yung mga terms na leading variable, which is y. So we have y squared minus 12y. Applying derivative, so 1 times 2 is 2y. The exponent became 1. The negative times 1 is negative 12. Then the exponent of y became 0, so that's 1. We equate it to 0, transpose negative 12 to the other side because we are solving for y, it became 12. Divide both sides by 2, therefore our y is 6. Dito yan sa k ilagay, ha? Then, to solve for x, value of the vertex, we substitute 6 to the original equation. This is 6 squared minus 4x minus 12 times 6 plus 28 equals 0. We simplify 6 squared is 36. Then negative 4x transpose na po sa other side para 
madali. So it's positive 4x. Negative 12 times 6 is negative 72 plus 28. Then we simplify 36 plus 28 is 64. Negative 72, unlike. Negative 72, positive 64, unlike. So we subtract 72 minus 64 is 8. We copy the sign of 72, which is negative. So negative 8 equals 4x. Divide both sides by 4 because we are solving 4x. So x are therefore equals negative 2. This is now the value of x sub vertex. The vertex became negative 2, positive 6. So pag may vertex ka na, makukuha mo ng focus. But this time, ang kukopyahin nyo na, whatever the leading variable, yun ang kukopyahin yung value sa vertex as the y value of the focus. Kinukopya lang yan. So 6. How about for the vertex? Uh, for the x value of the focus, vertex plus the focal length. Negative 2, positive 1, so negative 1. So pag may focus value ka na, makukuha mo na ang endpoints of LR. Since this is y, ang parihong value dyan ay yung opposite ng y, which is x. Kaya dapat pariho dyan, negative 1, negative 1. At ang ma-change lang na value ay yung sa y value. Paano makukuha ang y value is the value, the y value of the vertex plus half of LR, length of LR. Or length of uh, vertex value y minus half of LR kasi plus minus. So 6 plus 6 plus half of 4 is 2. 6 plus 2 is 8. Or 6 minus 2 is 4. So these are the end points of the lattice rectum. After that, so we can get now the axis of symmetry. Remember the leading variable is y dapat y din dito. y equals whatever the y value of the vertex. And the directrix is the opposite of y which is x. Paano nakuha negative 3? Kukunin natin yung value ng vertex plus the opposite sign of the focal length, negative 2 plus negative 1 is negative 3. And how about for the standard form? Since this is y, so y dapat ang may square. Parenthesis, y minus 6. Bakit minus 6? Kasi ang vertex y value is positive. Opposite siya. May square equals the length of LR. So uh, we have 4. Open parenthesis, we have x. Negative 2 yung value ng x magiging positive 2. Close parenthesis, and that's the standard form of the given parabola. Another example is, suppose the given is in a standard form, the square of x minus 1 equals 4 times y minus 3. So in this case, makukuha din natin ang length of LR, which is 4, the coefficient ng nasa right side. And the focal length is half of 4, which is 1. Why positive? Because the sign is positive. And the opening is, ang may square ay x, therefore, opens upward. Kasi ang sign ng focal ay positive at ang may square na variable ay x. Then for the vertex, no need to use uh, derivative. Kasi nandyan na sa equation, that's already in standard form. Opposite of negative 1 is positive 1. Opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. That's the vertex. Then for the focus, same. Since ang leading natin ay x, leading variable ay x, kinukopya lang itong 1, 1. Paano itong 4? Vertex plus the focal length. So 3 plus 1 is 4. Then for the endpoints of the lattice rectum, kinukopya lang yung y value ng focus. So pariho ang y value which is 4, 4. How about for the x coordinate? Paano yan nakuha? The x value of the vertex plus or minus half length of LR. So this is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. How about for the axis of symmetry? Whatever the leading variable, that's also the variable. X equals the value of the X coordinate of the vertex. For the directrix, the opposite variable of the axis symmetry, which is Y, bakit naging 2, is kukunin natin yung Y value of the vertex plus the opposite of the focal length, 3 minus 1 is 2. For the general form, paano? We expand this. You just square x, that's x squared. Then x dapat ang next term. 
I-multiply lang itong lahat. X times negative 1 times 2 is negative 2X. So, X squared minus 2X. Ang sunod ay variable Y. Ito, 4 times Y is 4Y. When you transpose to the other side, negative 4Y. Then, paano na pa ang 13? Multiply lang itong 4. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. When you transpose to the other side, is positive 12. Nasaan pa ang constant ito? Negative 1, may square siya. So, square nyo rin. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1 plus 12 is 13 equals 0. Okay. Nakuha nyo po. Thank you and good day.